Hey everybody, it's uh, Sunday and it's time for a, uh, a product review um, and highlight and it's the Blackberry Razor by Blackland Razors and it's right here all stainless steel there's two different finishes I'll get in that in a second you can kind of get an idea for it um, real quick if you look at the clean shavers um, YouTube page you'll also see another good review on there uh, so if you want to get another person's opinion that's the only other review I've seen at this moment but with this razor you get it's uh, modeled after and inspired by the SR-71 Blackbird my personal favorite aircraft as a kid I always thought it was like a spaceship and this doesn't disappoint it's got very cool curves texture but this to be uh, real quick up front it's a prototype or not the prototype but it was uh, basically like the last razor he got before the production run came out and I guess he made some minor little tweaks from what I understand to uh, the product so the fit and finish might not be exact as to what you're gonna get but we'll get into that real quick but first comes in two different handle options this is the long it's hundred and one millimeters I believe the other one is like 70 I thought this would be long but it's not it feels totally fine kind of compare it to Edwin Jaeger 89 the handle that I have so not too much longer but like I said all stainless steel two finish options you get the just the machined or you get a black oxide um, I would probably get the black oxide just because it's SR 71 so but standard three-piece razor show you what it looks like there so kind of indented for the uh, head there what I'm gonna do because I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna see how it fits so you can see my wood jagger does go on it doesn't go into the recess where it's divoted in there but it does go on it seemed to secure just fine haven't shaved with it that way but and then you got your two pieces here you can see how the blade gets held into place with almost like a bar style there base plate just a cool look and I'm not usually talking about a base plate much but I think the design is very very cool so this retails for $160 I've used it multiple times um, I've used it with my normal repair platinum Lux, and I've used it with the feather blade uh, with the Rapira, smooth as silk. Um, I love it. It uh, you can definitely feel the blade with this, um, but it, it still it felt very very good. Very similar to um, my ATTS one, the way that feels, except for this one I can feel the blade more. Um, so to some it might feel a little more aggressive in that way. Um, down the road I hope to keep this just a little bit longer. And I'm, I'm getting my SR7 or my, SR7, my uh, ATT back in a couple days, and I'm gonna do a side by side shave with them. But felt really great with the feather. I used the feather one time on my head um, with this razor, zero issues at all that shave. And I'm not a big feather blade fan. Then I used it on my face, a little bit of irritation, but feathers can be a little harsh for me. So, once again, since this did so well multiple times with the repair, calling that a blade issue. The only problem I had on my head was I did nick myself a couple times. I did another head shave just a couple days ago, but user error, I was going crazy fast. I was in a hurry. Um, I had to get to a field trip and I just butchered my head. So once again, not the razor in my opinion, but it, it is kind of borderline. Just once in a while I found myself with an angle issue, but most of you guys aren't head shavers, but on the face, this thing was awesome. I have no qualms about the uh, price point, 160 bucks. Uh, like I said, there's two different colors options. I think it's for 205 bucks you can get the short handle and the long handle. And then they've also got a, I think it's a wooden stand option as well. But I know the production models came out right before Christmas, if I remember correctly. And there's still some available on the store. Um, I just looked right now. So check them out. Like I said, it's the Blackbird Razor by Blackland and you know, I'm very happy that I was able to test this out. I have to thank the uh, the owner Shane, and then uh, Scott Ostermiller. Scott's the one who uh, got this razor originally, and I saw it uh, mentioned back and forth with them on Instagram, and inquired if I might be able to uh, join in. And I'm very pleased. This would be a razor I will buy. Which would be it will be a razor I will buy at some point in time. Um, just don't have the funds right now. But I said this handle. You can see, I'm trying to give you an idea. You can see there's some pretty deep uh, 
serrations, I guess you could call that. But if you want to see this razor in action, go back a couple of videos. I know I did a head shave with it, and you can see effortless zero issues on that one. But I took my time when I rushed myself. You know, it's a lot of curves and stuff, so it happens. So I would highly recommend this razor. Like I said, hopefully I'll do a side-by-side uh, -side shave with the ATTS one. So I'm going to get going, guys. Catch you later, and check out Bye. Black Time Razors. <laughs> God bless.